a small town not far from Sweden's capital, Stockholm. This is the spot Jakob Brunze and Johan Holmgren chose for their weekend home. The house is a real eye-catcher. Hello, and welcome to Villa Delta. The couple spends the weekends at the Villa Delta with their daughter, Ellen. It's a huge triangle made of wood and glass. But why exactly did they choose this design? Well, uh, it came natural actually from the architect who saw the ground, he saw the place, and he found out that uh, there was actually a triangular plateau to put the house on. So he decided that if we should get the size of house that we wanted, he had to make it triangular. So that's how we ended up with a triangular house. Unusual architectural ideas always present a pressing challenge. How to make them work in real life? A weekend house has to be comfortable. So is the Villa Delta what they were hoping for? It's a lot better, actually. I could never imagine a room with this much light, this much, this closeness to nature, this feeling of being inside or being one with nature while being inside. I could never have imagined a room like this. This spacious room forms the heart of the 120 square meter house. Only one side is a proper wall, the other two sides are glass, an interior design challenge. Um, first of all, you don't have to have, hang any pictures here because you have nature. Nature is the, nature is the picture here. And second, um, yeah, where you want to put your furniture so you see nature. So it came natural to put the furniture facing nature, facing the walls, which is something you wouldn't do in a house with just locked walls. The only thing missing was space for shelves and closets. So the Delta's architect turned a wall into a built-in storage unit. Actually, we have more storage space than we have things, which was an awkward thing to find out when we moved in. We don't even have enough stuff to fill it. We have some empty spaces, actually. Villa Delta is triangular inside and out. Like the large kitchen island, made of a high-gloss synthetic. And why the name Delta? There's more than one reason. Well, Delta is, of course, the Greek uh, sign for, or the Greek alphabet for uh, the triangle. But it's also a flirt from the architect with me and my uh, interest in aviation. So it's Delta after Delta Airlines. And uh, now everybody's calling it the Delta House because it's uh, because of the shape and because they know me and my story. So it's, uh, it's nice. It gives the house a little bit more of an attitude. Johan Holmgren's interest in flight is reflected not only by naming the house after an American airline company, but also in the very special shape of one of the home's two terraces. There are no rectangulars here, so we needed a, a triangle, a triangle-shaped terrace to make it fit with the house. And then I immediately came to think of the Concorde and its classic delta wing. I mean, it's such a, such a, um, iconic shape. So uh, I asked the architect if they could make the exact same angle, so we, we did it. So it's good to be able to give back to your childhood dreams a bit. Villa Delta fulfills Johann Holmgren's and Jakob Brunze's dream of a perfect weekend getaway.